Hello again, uh, my name is Paul. We've had a few customers um, that have been asking, or we've come across people that have been asking how to distribute their CTrader C bots so that their code is hidden. So they can share it with friends and colleagues, but their friends and colleagues cannot see the code, or they're looking at selling it and they don't want um, their code to be accessed and distributed across the internet. Um, this applies also to MetaTrader. So it's the same thing with expert advisors. Um, it's just a method of encrypting your code that, so that it's not um, there, it's not able for somebody else to get it, decompile it, and steal your hard work. Now, on our website, we've created a blog article, but at the bottom of this YouTube video, we put a link so you can access it. Just this: how to protect your CBOT source code. Again, this does, this does um, apply to MetaTrader, but MetaTrader has their own um, system for compile uh, for encrypting the code. But you can go one step further and make it even more secure. But I'm just going to focus around the CTrader uh, trading platform for the moment. So if you go to this page here, it'll tell you why would you want to do it. We've got a good um, sentence down here, really. It says that the principle of actually applying some form of protection on your source code, you know, encrypting it in some way, even basic, is better than nothing. Because it says here, it's the same principle as an opportunist thief. If they see a bike with no padlock, they may steal it. It's like if somebody leaves their door open on their house, somebody just might walk in and, and take goods out of the house. So they're opportunists. Uh, but if you have a bid padlock on that bike, or if you put some form of um, encryption or security on your uh, project, you have a lower, much lower chance that somebody's going to come along and actually take your code. Um, and the more security, the more um, that you go into actually making your product more secure, the even more chances that people are not going to um, have the time and effort to go in there and steal your code. So the idea at the end of the day is, is how important is your project for starters? And secondly, I mean, if you spent six months to a year working on a project, you really want to pay for having some kind of software protecting your code because um, that's a lot of time and man hours. Okay. So this this uh, page here will go into more detail how to protect your code. Use a thing called obfuscation. Obfuscation is a way of um, kind of encrypting your code or changing it in such a way that it's not readable by um, humans. So they won't be able to use um, so third-party software, software tools that are out there, decompile it and actually access your code straight away. If somebody puts enough time and effort in, they can. There's a lot of commercial tools out there that you can download on um, these links. We've put some links here. You do have to pay for them. Um, now, these commercial tools will um, encrypt and do something to hide your data. Um, and again, it all depends on how much you want to pay to how strong you want that um, code to be encrypted. Um, there's also piracy prevention. So um, again, you need licensing for your system. So just because you hide your encrypt your code and you distribute it over the internet, um, you know that's going to stop people stealing your source code. But what about people that have that have your product and they just pass it to their colleague and they pass it to their colleague and all of a sudden it goes around the internet and you have no control about that. So you also need something called piracy protection or license a licensing system. So you need to do two things. One is to obfuscate or encrypt your code so nobody can steal your code. And secondly, you need to have some kind of licensing system so that um, only you, sorry, that somebody will install it on their machine and you can have something like you can only, they can only install it on two machines or two licenses at the same time. The whole idea about that is that will increase your sales. That's if you want to sell a product. That will massively increase your sales because it means that um, if there's a, a group of traders, they can't distribute it amongst themselves. One person will buy it and then the other person has to buy it as well. because You've got a licensing system. Now we're going on to C-Trader C-Bots. C-Trader trading platform have a way of encrypting or um, hiding the source code from other traders. And I'm going to quickly show you how to do that now. So if you're not using the C-Trader platform, you don't have to carry on watching this. If you are using C-Trader, it's worth watching it because we're going to show you how to safeguard your code with some simple steps. If, again, you've got a product that you want to sell and it's very complex and it took you a lot of hours, then you do need to, at the same time, um, implement the licensing system and some method of obfuscation or some tools that you can download from here. Okay, So I'm going to open up C-Trader now. So again, this is just a basic version of C-Trader. You need to go into Automate, click on the Automate tab. Now, this is a basic uh, C-Bot here. It's just very simple. So you've got two options. You can build this with source code. So you can pass it to somebody else who's going to work with you with the co with the code, or you can build build it without source code if you want to publish it somewhere or share it with friends. You don't want them to see the code. All you need to do is you right click on the actual C bot itself, and you've got two options: build, build with source. So I'm going to build this with source, and it's just built. If I right click now and go show in folder, you can see the file size is 9K. That's built it with the source code included. If I now go back and go build, I'm hoping it will be less. It should be less. 
now if I show in folder, it's 3K. So you know if your project has been built with or without source code, you can just double check. You just go into the fol folder, look at the size of the file. The one with source code will be larger and the one without source code will be smaller. That's it, it's very simple. Compiles it as a .algo file. Now, because it's a .algo file, most of the common third-party decompiler tools that are out there are unable to um, decompile this or reverse engineer it to actually steal your code. Um, so it's quite safe. But if you really want to um, encrypt your code and it's very important, then again, I'm going to go back to the web page. So here you really need to add two things, licensing system and obfuscation, and you need to encrypt the code. So the rule of thumb is if it's something you're not too worried about losing, you don't need to don't invest the time. If it's something that you spent many weeks, months or years, I know months or years or a long period of time developing, then you need to actually invest some money to protect your project because in the long run, you'll get maximum sales. Okay, that's it. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom.